Well, good morning. We let the Western Star run all night long, so it's warmed up, good to go. I left the brakes released all night. I just put the spades on the Zach lift down to hold it in place so nothing froze up. Uh, drove the track truck around a little bit, doing some maintenance here this morning. My black truck, that one gelled up yesterday, and last night I had to fight it and fight it, put a bunch of heat to it and a whole bunch of stuff. I even put the anti-gel in the tank and still gelled up, so finally got it to start last night and then it ran all night as well. Uh, we are heading up onto Sanium Pass to go winch out a truck that's stuck in the chain up area. So we're gonna take the Zach lift up there. This poor truck, it has got no hope of going anywhere right now. I didn't do any anti-gel stuff to it. I haven't plugged it into the block heater. So it's uh it's gonna stay there till the weather warms up, but this truck, let's see, what are we? 20, no, it's not 24 degrees outside. It is 2 degrees outside. So let's get going. All the roads are plowed nice and good this morning, which was definitely not the case when I came home last night. So this is, this is much better driving conditions. And I, I probably should have mentioned last night, it got down to a low of uh, negative 10 uh, actual temperature and minus 23 uh, with the wind chill, real feel, whatever thing. But as far as like the trucks gelling up and freezing up, um, wind chill doesn't matter. Trucks, equipment, fuel, none of that feels wind chill. All it knows is absolute temperature. And for that, we got negative 10. We made it up over the top of the mountain. We're down kind of on the other side. We got one more little hill to go over and then we drop down to the chain up area on the far side of the mountain. And that is where our truck should be waiting. How you doing? Yes, they tried to yank this thing out last night with that little white truck. It didn't quite work? We couldn't get out of this. Yeah. We could pull it up past all this. Back trailer's empty. Uh, I honestly don't know. I know that's where the cow catcher is, is in that back uh, oh. trailer, so it's gotta be a little empty. to plant this thing in. I'm gonna pull from close so I can get an upward pull on it first and if it breaks free then I'll move up and we'll pull it up out of there. 
Go ahead and hop in and I'll tell you what to do when we get there. Okay, let me go grab my remote which I was smart enough to put in the truck this time. Somewhere. Yes, my truck's a mess. I've been living out of it for the last week. Okay, release all your brakes. Oh, all of them are rolling, good. Okay, since it's broke free and rolling good, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna freeze pull my winch and pull up so I can pull you all the way up onto this good stuff. So go ahead and set your brakes. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna pull up ahead so that I can get them all the way into this in one shot. Okay, I was a bit late getting here. I feel kind of bad. Um, I let this truck idle all last night because it got down to, I said negative 10. And I uh, saw so it idle so it wouldn't gel up and I could leave the brakes released. But uh, all that idling pissed off the DPF filter. And I go this morning to get to, to leave and come here. And uh, my truck is in full D-rate mode, so hold on a sec, I'm watching the winch out the back window. Uh, yeah, my truck was in full D-rate and I had to uh, do a whole regen. Took a bit, but finally got it going and everything's good now. Okay, lock it in. Make sure it tension's good. Make sure we don't get run over. Grab the remote that I forgot because I never keep it in the truck. So you can see my winch up there. I can watch that through the back window and see when I need to stop so I don't pull all the cable off the drum. Okay, release your brakes! If this was a harder pull, like a really hard pull, I wouldn't use that tow pin on the front of his truck. I would put my Iver tool in and use that because I, I have the attachments for this truck here as well. Um, but since they already had that tow pin in there, that factory one, I figured I might as well pull on it, see if it was an easy enough pull that I could trust pulling on that one tow pin. And it looks for now like that's what we got, so. Um, that's staying nice and still. So that uh, the front trailer's loaded, the back trailer's empty. Uh, this uh, happened yesterday evening, and they said uh, when they were headed back over the hill, they saw the storm, so they left the back trailer empty and only loaded the front, which is very smart. But then he pulled in here to chain up. You see, he chained up everything. 
and uh, while he was chaining up his brakes froze and locked them in place which is totally understandable because last night when I was chaining up on a different mountain pass my brakes froze and locked me in place but I was able to break it free because uh, I only had drive axles chained up or froze up So I'm just going to pull him up here onto this good stuff and with all his chains on, he should go from here. Alright. Yeah, I'll pull him in a little farther just so that my line's tight all the way in. Lower my boom down so I don't pick his front end up. Yeah. That's super nice. Everything controlled there. Oh, it's it's so so handy. Back in the day, my dad ran one of them back in the Kansas City area, and it was all you had to be right there running it all right there. Definitely come a long way. No, it is really nice to be able to push a button, and I could be standing right next to the driver telling him what I need to do, and then running my truck at the same time. Like, it's so nice. All right, I'll see if he can pull forward from there, and if so, hopefully we're good. Put it in gear and see if you can pull forward. Put it in gear and see if you can drive forward. All right, go ahead and set your brakes there. Nice. Yeah, all your all your wheels are rolling, so you're good. I'm gonna wind this in. I gotta get the truck number and license plate, and then I'll just pull straight ahead so that you can get a run straight before you have to turn and go around me. Okay, we are going to flip our PTO, and I'm going to go straight up here, and uh, that way he can go in a straight line and get a good run going before he has to turn around me. I want him to go up the hill first, that way I know he doesn't have any problems taking off again. So it wouldn't be the first time I pulled someone out and then uh, they were still stuck. Oh yeah, he's rolling. Perfect. Awesome. Very nice. Nice, easy, quick one. I like that. They're doing everything good. Like you stopped the chain up when you needed to chain up. They left the back trailer empty because of the snow conditions. Um, everything good. They did everything good like you're supposed to. And then to help me out for this, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, winch out, they even sent a mechanic up to help get the brakes free and all that so that I didn't have to fight that. So, very much thank you to Les Schwab. I wish a lot more customers were like that. I'm taking these off to go back over the pass because um, it's pretty wet and slushy for a lot of it where and it's even just straight up wet pavement for a good bit where I don't need big outer chains on. I'll just run the auto chains and we'll be good. Okay, got the chains off, put away. I'll set this thing back down. Outriggers up. Now, 
We are at a stop since I picked the truck up. Uh, the auto chains came out from under the tires and they're just sitting there now. No, so no auto chains are under the tires at all. We're on this icy hill. Let's see if we can start off from a stop on an icy hill with auto chains like a bunch of people who've never used auto chains before say you can't do. Teach you off and what I was saying earlier, I can look out the back window and see both winch drums so that when I'm pulling forward like that I know how to not go too far. Alright, so we are going to Find us some second gear, PTO's off, all good, auto chains are down. So there's a little bit of wheel slip right at the beginning, and that slings the chain under the tire, and as soon as that chain goes under, you've got grip. Imagine that. Okay, let's uh, head back over this mountain. All right, we're done and out of here. That was super quick and super easy thanks to a customer who made it quick and easy. Uh, and that will reflect on their bill because we charge by the hour and they made that really easy by sending up a mechanic to free up the brakes, sending up a driver with fresh hours to drive the thing out of here because this happened yesterday and uh, having everything ready to go. So all I had to do was hook on, give some pull and we're done. So uh, I'm gonna head back down the mountain. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.